Inside, someone had thrown more logs onto the hearth. They were spitting and cracking, and the flames were jumping again, gilding the spicy smoke that billowed across sleeping men and around smooth roof posts. Wolf Weird was standing above Jarl Sigurd, a cup in his hand, and some of the others were stirring as though expecting trouble. Wolf Weird turned to the sound of the door. He saw me and curled his lip before turning back to the Norseman. I moved into a space by the hearth, feeling the heat on my face, as Eelston entered the hall and crouched beside Seward the blacksmith. Your people are stumbling in the darkness, Jarl Sigurd, Wolf Weird said. But is it not the shepherd's task to save his flock from the wolf? Fuck off, priest, Sigurd mumbled, scratching his golden beard. I did not cross Njord's Sea to listen to you. Your words fall from your mouth like droppings from a goat's ass. Some of the Norsemen laughed hard enough to wake others still sleeping. 